This video is for entertainment purposes only. Hi everyone. Um, I have a lot on my mind tonight. Actually, I have a lot on my mind every day. Um, suffering with Morgellons disease and being awake, being awake to truth to all the things that weren't taught to us, realizing that all the things that were taught to us were lies. Um, with that said, I want to know how many of you have noticed all of these changes, like so many changes. Like when you walk outside, everything's different. People are different. People are shallow, maybe a word for it, superficial. Um, the conversations are meaningless. They're seemingly not aware of what's actually going on in the world around them. It's like you can look them in the face and say, hey, look, this is happening. This is real. Whether it be UFOs or Morgellons disease or Bigfoot or any of the supernatural kind. Um, no matter what it is, though, it seems like people just shrug, turn the other way. And I used to think, well, that's because they think we're like wearing tinfoil hats or, you know, the word conspiracy theory. Um, supposedly that's a really bad word. But I mean, the funny thing is, it's not a bad word at all. It started around the 40s when Kennedy was assassinated. That's when the slang for that came around. Like, it's a conspiracy theory. And I'm here to tell you, those two words have definition and meaning. Conspiracy, meaning rivaling against what um, another would in fact be saying is so, like, hence now. Theory, meaning that's my thoughts. Conspiracy, yes. Theory, yes. Not a bad word. Not a bad word at all. But I mean, it's kind of going beyond that with people, you know? I don't think they're thinking even about the tinfoil hats or the conspiracy theorists, or I think they're really lost, like lost in their own human vehicles. Their souls and their minds are lost. I mean, the way people act now, the way people talk now, the way people just robotically go about their days. They go about their days like they're working themselves to the bones. I mean, most of us are taking on two or three jobs, sometimes more, you know, but I mean, you almost have to have a two income family to survive. In my case, I have just me. That's what I got but I make it work. And the thing is, people are understanding on top of that, that they're a slave to society. They are a slave to the financial system. They're a slave to their own selves. They'll never really truly own anything. They're living in a system that was designed, designed to keep them from succeeding, to keep them from advancing on any level, to keep them from truly owning something that Uncle Sam doesn't get a piece of, okay? And I want you to think about that, and I want to remind you that there is a financial banking system, Federal Reserve, owned by a group of elitist, elite people that sit back and they laugh at us. They laugh whenever we get audited, when we have to pay our taxes and write out that check, knowing that we may not be able to feed our families like for the next couple of weeks or months. But we gotta pay our dues, man. We gotta pay them. And they're laughing because none of them pay a dime towards taxes. They laugh at us. We're getting audited on like two grand, you know, two thousand dollars. Come on, you know, to them, it's freaking pocket change. That's lint. It means nothing to them. But they laugh at us because they got us right there, right under their thumb, right under their thumb. And we're letting it happen. We're robotically going about our ways. 
we don't ask questions. We're like, oh, we went to school. You know, the school teacher told me this, and the school teacher learned that from you know her school teacher. Blah blah blah. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Come on, guys, eyes to see, ears to hear, and a soul that makes a difference. We've got to be those people, and I know most of you are are being those people or you wouldn't be here on my channel or so many others like mine and i want to thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart for being a voice for being an advocate for making noise and if you're not making noise i want to thank you for believing and i want to encourage you to make some noise shout it at the mountaintops don't be afraid don't be afraid of the judgmental looks and the ways of others they're the ones that's lost I mean secretly inside I feel for them I'm sad for them I'm sorry for them and we should all be but we shouldn't shut up when you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear and you can see what's truly going on in this world <laughs> and there's a lot going on in this world even more so now than ever earthquakes all sorts of hurricanes all sorts of weather conditions solar flares I mean the sun's having issues if you haven't noticed and that little other sun it's not our sun and I don't care what anyone says if you've got the eyes to see and the ears to hear look up you can see it suns aren't white suns aren't small suns aren't huge and suns don't disappear when it goes behind a pole leaving nothing but a real sun, the way I remember it, before you know we had the one put in place that most certainly is in, in place, it's been put there like a satellite. You can Google it, I'd say, oh yeah, Google it, but I mean, probably not gonna get your truth there. But there is bits of truth out there. Check your archives, check your old archives. Anything that's been archived, it's there. Find your truth. And most of you that are looking for it, maybe you didn't know that, Another true story. Another true story. And I don't know, there's probably a million of you out there that's been looking at the moon and the stars, which also have seemingly changed. And they've either changed or we were sleepwalking through life and they've always been like that. But you see what I video, you see what I put out there, you see orbs and stars bouncing around and dancing and not staying in one place, shape-shifting if you may, changing all sorts of forms. The atmosphere that we are aware of, that was taught to us, I believe is totally false. I don't know anything about flat earth, but I don't know anything about round earth. Truth be told, I don't know anything outside of what I've been taught, like most of you, but I know a whole bunch more new things now, looking at them through different eyes, from my own, my own research, my own looking, my own will and drive to find the truth by digging deep. And we've become lazy. Most people have become so lazy. They don't want to do the work. They just want to go to school they want to sit in a school desk they come to the ring of the bell they go to a ring of a bell they raise their hand when they speak and they don't speak unless they are called upon and said that they can if you think about it that never ended in junior high middle school elementary or high school it never ended in college it's never ended at all we're still doing that we're still following these guidelines of well, that's what you say, so therefore it must be true. And then all of a sudden we get this thing about us like, oh, well, we know because we were really smart in school. We like got A's on every test. You got A's on a test that was never meant for you. Don't you get it? You got A's on a test through a conditioned, minded, lying system. They conditioned us purposely. <laughs> I used to really think it was funny when people thought it was caused 
autism or all these other things. I, I was like, come on now. They're trying to help us. Think about it though. Why would they try to help us? What is it to them that they would want to help us? You know, guys, I mean, I'm looking at it through different eyes. There's bad stuff everywhere you look. It's in the air. It's in the water. It's in the food that you eat. Genetically modified organisms. What does genetics mean? Those are your genes. Modified? What does that mean? Changed. Organisms? Everything that was alive and is alive changed the genes and modified them for their own need for whatever they had in plans and so you go to the grocery store and you're like oh non-gmo or gmo and nobody thinks the thing they're like i just know the alphabet gmo those are part of the alphabet i'm gonna buy that box of cereal or i'm gonna get that lettuce that's gonna stay green for like a month or more because it's just good lettuce or my milk doesn't smell sour after a day or two, it's gonna stay good for at least a couple of weeks because it's just good milk. Came from a good cow, I guess, right? Come on, don't tease yourself. Don't lie to yourself, don't lie to your children, and don't let your children lie to their children. It's all lies. It's all lies. They've been doing bad things to us for a while. Free flu. <laughs> Just come on in, come on, they're free. We'll give you $100 if you get the vacation and nation and the arm for the C word that has a number behind it that is a <coughs> hazard, I should say. I can't say too much, but I think you guys are following me here. Yeah, though, I mean, we'll pay you to get that. We're gonna pay you because we value your life so, so much. Not because, you know, there's too many people on the planet and all the resources that, in which case, will help us stay alive longer are being used up. We just value your lives. So we're going to fork out some money. We don't know you in person. We don't really know you at all. But we just care about you. Stop lying to yourselves. Stop lying to yourselves. You're going to walk in and get a free, free flu shot? You're going to walk in and you're going to get a free see you later? You gonna walk in and you get anything free since when has the government ever given us anything free you pay taxes out your butt most of us will never own our homes we buy it but it's financed by a what a financial institution the house is not yours for some of us that are luckier i guess and there are a few out there i know that own it you're still being taxed in a way that you don't see Trust me, you're gonna pay taxes on that really beautiful mansion that you own, full-fledged, or you don't. You're gonna pay those taxes. You're gonna pay them all your life. And you don't have a say-so, you can vote. But just in case you haven't figured it out, your vote doesn't count. Your vote doesn't count. Don't you understand it's a puppeteered system? It's a big theatrical show. Here for somebody's entertainment pleasure, but not mine, not yours. Somebody's laughing, but it's not us. I'm telling you guys, these things are happening. Morgellons is happening, UFOs are happening. All these things, these supernatural things that shouldn't be happening, are happening. But they weren't mentioned in my Bible. Then again, I know the Bible has been manipulated somewhat. I mean, we all know it's translation, 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 and from a very ancient language. But it doesn't matter because it lives right here. Now, my Lord never mentioned anything about another source here to help us. Just hovering above like, we're here to help. We're gonna help you. We're just, we're just waiting for the right time. I know, I see suffering everywhere. Like, yeah, that guy just died, oops. But don't worry, we're here to save the world. Give me a break. Give me a break. The pain, the suffering we are all going through, there is no Galactic Federation above us that's here to help, or they would have lent a hand. The Lord God would love to step in, but guess what? He gave man free will. You're welcome. Not the Galactic Federation, the Lord God above. He gave man free will. So it's free, like it's ours. We, we get to choose. But the only thing we don't get to choose is what we do in this world, apparently. And I mean, it's a world government. I don't care what anyone says. There's a collaboration that has been behind the closed doors, behind the curtains for many, many years. It's a show. It's 
an act. It's a deceitful act. And we, the human race, are paying the price. We're paying the price. I'm sick of paying dummy taxes, damn it. I am sick of paying dummy taxes. We send our young men, age 18, out to fight wars. To fight wars. For what? What did the countries that were fighting those wars truly ever do to us, especially recently? Why? And why are we just bombing certain areas that contain a big portion of our own human race history? Why? I mean, like, the blowing up men and women and children, families of all types. They're killing them. Why? One world government? You don't understand. That is not a good thing. That is one nation under Satan. That's what that is. I don't know any other way to color this picture for you or paint it or present it. I, I don't. But all the truth is in front of your face. They tell you through movies. They tell you in all sorts of subtle ways while we're being fumigated from above. And I assure you we are. I mean, I don't care what anyone says. I've seen it, I've got video proof. Nobody's gonna change my mind. And I'm not here to try to change your mind. I'm here to present the truth to you. I'm here to let you borrow my eyeballs or learn how to use yours and see things with different eyes, hear things with different ears, know things because it's always been here and it's always been here. You were born with it. You were born with it. The knowledge has always been there. We have been dumbed down. I mean, that's not just a saying. We have, we've been dumbed down. Straight up, dumbed down. But not by our doing, through really deceitful, mischievous, horrible ways and things. And fumigations from above. And ingestion of any type of thing that the human body needs to survive. Maybe I wear a tinfoil hat. And if I do, I'm glad I do. Because it looks good on me. And I'd rather wear this tinfoil hat than any pair of Levi jeans, any other guru dum-dum wears walking around with no head on their shoulders. Call me crazy. Still choose to be me. Every day. And you don't have to understand me. But you don't have to. But just think. If you actually got in touch with the human portion of you, the human portion that God made, if you just got a little bit in tune with that, you might find out that you have a whole lot of understanding for me. A whole world filled with knowledge and understanding of the whole entire planet. What happened to one nation under God? One nation under God, what happened to that? It's more like nation under Satan and we're allowing it we're allowing it I don't understand guys it wasn't meant for me to understand the Lord says do not lean on your own understanding therefore I'm not but I'm human at the end of the day feelings and thoughts Thoughts that I'm sharing with you all right now. Thoughts that count. Thoughts that matter. Just the same as anyone else's. And they're pure thoughts. They're pure thoughts. They're concerned thoughts. They're loving thoughts. They're caring thoughts. They're, they're thoughts that's putting myself out here on a platform for the whole world to point fingers at me. They either laugh or criticize, call names, be hateful or hurtful. That's how much I love you. And that's how much I don't care what the rest of the world is doing. You know? It's like, it doesn't matter. There's one thing that matters. And it's just living and loving and going about life with grace. And just pure peace. Peace knowing that you don't have to battle the second you wake up in the morning. You don't have to go through that battle of just, man, I don't want to do this again. Back to the grind. Go sit in a desk or go with your 
arms and your physical being and work yourself to the bone or go run here and run there just trying to feed the family and also juggle the jobs and do the laundry and pay the bills and pay Uncle Sam forever in a day and take maybe two hours out of your day for the little bit of pleasure you might get spending with your family if you get any because most people's faces are in their phones now they're in their phones and they got more important things to do than just look at the flesh and blood that sits right next to them but have beating hearts filled with love and just this yearning and this need for physical contact physical love physical care and nurture and understanding we all deserve that we've been deceived and we've been distracted we've been very distracted and they created these things to distract us the ufos in the sky to me are no different than the morgellons in my body or the gmos in our food is no different than the sasquatches that roam the earth or the ghosts or the things that we see that we can't explain don't get me wrong Oh, surreal. They're a demonic type. They're not your friend. Those that are dead and are where they're supposed to be would be in the grave right now until the Lord comes and calls them home. All the dead shall rise. Righteous meet in the skies. Heaven we're bound. So I've talked until the sun has come completely down. But I have lots to say, guys. Lots to say. And so much compassion and love for all of you. And even if I am wearing a tinfoil hat according to you, don't be hateful to people that are just trying to love and help and show you a perspective by a different point of view that wasn't shoved down your throat through a conditioning system that told you so. Don't take anyone's word for it. You don't have to take mine either. Find out for yourself. The truth is out there. It's there for the taking. You just gotta want it bad enough. And you can't just be satisfied with the way things are going. Like, well, I got a nice house, nice truck, this or that. Went on vacation next year. Because that's never gonna be enough. And I don't know why you're settling. That should never be enough. That should be not even counting. That's not good enough. You deserve the best not physical things that's never going to be enough material things will not save you will not satisfy the hunger that comes later and it should be here now you need to feed your soul feed your soul don't feed the wolf don't feed the wolf don't feed the system that brought you up into a world that's a lie. I can't say it in any of the words. I love you guys. I don't even have to know you. I love you because you have flesh and blood and a body and a soul and a spirit that thrives, a heart that beats, and a mind that wanders. Some of you have minds that wander, but I'm here to help you find the way back. I don't have all the answers. When I help you find the way back, what I'm telling you is listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. And listen to the Lord. By the way, He's coming. All the signs are there. Shouldn't be scary to anyone. I'm so tired of people saying, well, that's scary. I don't want to discuss that. Screw scariness. I laugh in the face of scary. What's scary is what might happen when you get like distracted and start heading the other direction. That's scary. What happened to the home of the free and the land of the brave? It's seemingly now become the home of the thieves and the land of the slaves. Take Jesus Christ into your life. Accept him today and be saved.